Hey, good morning, Erin. Yes, I'm live this morning with the local artist, Mr. Chad Ganey. So we've been working away this morning. A quick recap. So we did a jack lantern and we carved a face. We used specialized tools to do so. Uh, actually, a smaller knife as well. And we found out that that is actually safer because you have more control. And then, of course, you can get more creative with the design as well. And so, Chad, talk to me about um, how to preserve the pumpkin because we're carving these and we want them to last until Halloween night. So how do we do that? Yeah, so that's a question that I get a lot and um, really when it comes down to pumpkins there's only a certain amount of things that you can do that actually make a difference in how long your pumpkin's going to last. Uh, the first being uh, whenever I carve a, a jack-o-lantern style like this I like to cut the bottom out. Most of the time we go straight in and cut the top out. A lot of times the stem retains uh, nutrition and moisture for the pumpkin so as long as we can leave that stem attached um, and it, when you're shopping for a pumpkin, if you get one that has a very green stem, it has a lot more nutrients in there and, it's, and it hasn't used them up yet. So it's still feeding that pumpkin even though it's, it's separated from the plant. So I look for a green stem and then I, instead of cutting this top out, I'll cut it out from the bottom. That way the stem's still attached and feeding. Uh, the next thing you do once you get them carved like these, you can uh, mist it with lemon juice and what the lemon juice does is kills the bacteria that is growing on the pumpkin and keeps it from getting all moldy and stuff. Uh, but with the heat that we've got down here, that's uh, kind of our number one you know, factor or number one enemy when it comes to a pumpkin. So the best thing that you can possibly do if you want to make it last as long as possible is keep it in the refrigerator. Mm. So if you've got it like a garage fridge or space in your fridge where uh, you can pull that thing in during the day when you're at work or you're not displaying it and just display it, you know, at night or when, whenever you, you know, feel like you wanted to enjoy your pumpkin. So um, another thing is, is if you want it to last till Halloween, obviously if you carve it the 1st of October, it's not going to last that long. So I would say just, you know, carve one, one a week, you know, whenever that one gets <laughs> gets going, carve another one. That's the fun part of it. All right. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Guinea, for your time this morning. Look at his beautiful artwork. And again, at News 13, we are having a pumpkin carving uh, competition and more details on that can be found on our website, mypanhandle.com. And Kristen, it is a little cold out this morning, so hopefully that will help in preserving our pumpkins.